Good morning, everybody. Let me have your attention. Right after your teacher takes the attendance, then dust your ears and give us your patience while we give you all the info coming from our new station. I know it's morning time, but people you can react to what's cooking in AHS while we tell you these facts. You need a helping hand, it's not so typical to have those. Let's just send this to the anchors in the studio. Uh. Good morning, Armand High School. It's Thursday, March 19th at Blue Day. I'm Logan Tyndall. And I'm Joy Johnson, and you're watching AHS Today. Now let's go to Taylor with today's weather. Good morning, Auburn High School. I'm Taylor Johnson here with your weather. Today's going to be a high of 65, a low of 52, and an 80% chance of rain. And tomorrow's going to be a high of 76, a low of 70, and a 40% chance of rain. Back to you in the studio. In today's news, Tiger Walk for the Special Olympics bowling team will take place on Thursday, March 19th around 11.45 a.m. Now let's see what's for lunch with Hannah Ray and Michaela. Hey, Coach Simo, you know what's a great day for? It's a great day for baseball. With that, too. Also, school lunch. Well, what are we having for lunch? We're having pizza, riblets, taco salad, and hamburgers. Take me out to the ballpark. Let's go. Happening tomorrow. The deadline to sign up for July's Italy trip is tomorrow. Miss Duncan is in room 105 for more information. Spring is here and so is the Sheets annual spring foolishness issue. Please submit your happy, silly, funny, haikus, limericks, and free verse poems to the Sheet Box in room 802 by March 20th for our last issue of the year. Let's get a Kenny MNA to see how Selma is breaking the news. <laughs> I'm Monet. I'm Katie. And this is Breaking the News. Last week was the 50th anniversary for the Selma March. We want to see what some of our AHS students have to say about the experience. March 7, 1965, people of all races gathered together to march across the Edmund Pettus Bridge for the right to vote. In Selma, a new generation walks the bridge in honor of Bloody Sunday every year. The first family was joined by members of Congress at the bridge, as well as where our president spoke on the need to reflect and move forward. So let's hear it, HS. We're taking it to the halls. My experience at Selma was really great because I got to walk off the bridge, and I've seen a lot of people here, and there was a lot of tribal dancing going on, and like drums and instruments. I really got to play the like this um, I had a big experience in Selma also. Um, like she said, there were a lot of people and we got across the bridge. We uh, saw Kurt Franklin and they did a concert with more famous people, but we had to leave. 20 years ago, my mom marched from Selma to Montgomery, and I just wanted to share the same experience as she did and be a part of history. I really enjoyed the trip. The march from Montgomery to Selma was a great experience to learn more about what happened, so history won't repeat itself. It's good to see the people um, who came before me who paved the way for African American history and rights. I didn't really go to Selma, but I think it's good to have that reenactment to see what people had to go through back then. You heard it here on Breaking the News. Back to you in the studio. Attention students, if you're a junior or senior planning on bringing a guest from another school, you will need to have your guest approved before you can purchase your guest ticket. You can pick up guest approval forms from the cafeteria, media center, or front desk, and forms must be turned in to Mrs. Pitt or Mrs. Torbert. Students, before you can go buy your prom dresses and rent your tuxedos, make sure that your outfit follows the prom dress code. Let's go to Tiger TV's editor-in-chief, Rushton Davis, to find out more information. Hey y'all, it's Rushton. I know y'all have all been getting so excited about prom and you've been looking for your dresses and tuxes on what to wear. I'm here to give you the inside scoop on what you can and can't get away with and what you should probably reconsider. I want to talk to y'all to see what y'all had in mind. I'm a, I'm buttoning all my buttons so I can show off all my chest hair. Oh no. Excessively low cut tops and dresses are not allowed. Right, I'm gonna wear my, uh, my Ozzy Osbourne sunglasses and my chubbies so I can show off my thighs. Sorry, Jackson. Dresses, skirts, and pants cannot be any shorter than four inches above your knee. My prom dress is like silver at the top. It's like tang. It's cut off right here. Hold up. Two-piece dresses that show your side or your stomach just aren't allowed. Yeah, my dress is pink. It has really high slits up the leg. 
Look, Chatham, the slit has to be less than four inches above the knee. Otherwise, it's not allowed. All right, when I'm going to prom, I'm wearing a pimpalicious suit. I got the pink hat. Just make sure you take the hat off before you go inside the dance. So I just decided just to rent the pants and the tux, but not the shirt. Do I even have to say this? You must wear a shirt and you must keep it on. With prom just around the corner, be aware of what you should and shouldn't buy. I know everyone's going to look absolutely incredible, especially if you follow the prom dress code. Back to you in the studio. Prom invitations will be distributed to juniors and seniors today during all lunch waves. Tickets for 10th graders can be bought during this time or from Ms. CRC in room 814 or Ms. Davidson in room 806. Tiger TV would like to wish Coach Rice a happy birthday. Thanks for tuning in. That's AHS Today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and observe a moment of silence.